that, that he uh, was working with didn't really know that we did semiconductor processing. And we do a lot of semiconductor processing in our 28,000 square foot clean room space where we have over 250 pieces of semiconductor processing equipment. And we do about five different technologies. We do MEMS, we do advanced packaging, we do silicon carbide processing, we do nano processing, we do photovoltaics, all in one clean room. We're going to go find one of the engineers who uh, have them describe their process and the projects that they're working on. Do you have a second to talk to us? Sure. Okay. Uh, you want to know what I'm doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm loading up a uh, CBD run right now, actually. And then uh, continuing processing some of the parts here. Just give an explanation of what this area is. Okay. So this the furnace area is used for variety of different thin film depositions, CVD processes, and also atmospheric thermal oxidations, anneals, uh, anything that somebody might need high temperature treatment on the parts. So we have a 30 or so different processes we run in this area, and uh, they're used primarily for microelectronics builds, but also uh, various projects throughout the center. Uh, I've been here about seven years in the furnace area. Every time you come in, you never really know what you're going to be in for, so I think it's interesting to work on things that are constantly changing. Uh, and that certainly happens a lot in this area, so I find it challenging and I enjoy that. My name is Margaret Lazeri. Uh, I've been at the research center for 38 years, uh, primarily in the diffusion area, furnace area as we call it. And um, we work on many different projects, but overall we work on the leading edge of things that are going to come out in, in the public. For example, the new light bulbs or medical systems, you know, the ultrasound pro. Different projects um, are uh, exciting, new. Um, it's great to watch a commercial and see, oh, I worked on that. <laughs> Forever. We have a lot of different applications, a lot of different technologies working in sort of a small space. We're sort of boundaryless here. So we have MEMS engineers talking to nano engineers and advanced packaging, and so I think that makes us all better. Okay.